The diesel fuel spill cleanup at Willard Bay State Park is progressing, as is the recovery and care of the six beavers who were contaminated by that spill. ABC4's Kimberly Nelson reports on how those animals are doing now. Well, these beavers that were rescued just after the spill are doing pretty well, but the younger beaver that were just taken in a couple of days ago are still in critical condition. <laughs> It's near around-the-clock care for the six rescued beavers at the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center of Northern Utah. The three rescued just after the diesel spill are making huge steps towards recovery. At this point, with their progression, um, the way they're behaving and eating on their own, and, and things, are, things are going as expected. And so we're, we're feeling pretty confident that the initial three will be going back out in the wild. The same cannot be said about the last three brought in just a couple of days ago. The young beavers have deep open sores, burns on their skin, and they're continually losing their fur. We have them on pain management right now. Um, we are giving them antibiotics um, to treat for secondary infections. All six beavers are taken out of their cages three times a day to swim in the water for an hour. It also gives volunteers a chance to track their recovery. Now, when the beavers first came in, the baths were just as hard on the beaver as the volunteers. When the first three initially came in, um, just because the diesel was so wet and so fresh, the fumes were, were tremendous. And so all the volunteers that night went home with headaches and, and body aches and flu-like symptoms. So it's hard to imagine what it must have been like for the animals who couldn't get away from the fuel. They were forced to, to swim in it, to eat it, to drink it, and there was, there was no where that was, wasn't contaminated. Now the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center has received some help. As a matter of fact, Chevron was just in here earlier this afternoon dropping off a check to help pay for the beaver's care. But they're still looking for volunteers and fresh wood, particularly cottonwood, aspen, and willow. That way the beavers have something fresh to eat. Reporting in Ogden, Kimberly Nelson, ABC4 News.